Hello friends, I am Jayesh Gandhi and today we are going to talk about 8085 introduction and the register set. First of all, let us understand what an architecture is. Hardware architecture refers to identification of a system's physical components and interrelationships of these components. So first of all, we have to identify various physical components and then we have to talk about the interrelationships and in that the first component we would like to talk is the register set. Let us list out the components. The first one is register set. The second is bus interface unit. The third one is arithmetic and logic unit. The fourth one is instruction decoder and machine cycle encoder unit. The fifth one is timing and control unit. And the sixth one is interrupt and serial communication module. Today we are going to talk about the register set and the bus interface unit. This is the 8085 architecture. Let us identify the various units we have listed. The first one is the register set of 8085 that is shown over here. The second one is the bus interface unit which we can see below the register set. The third one is the arithmetic and logic unit which is on the left hand side of the screen. The next one is the instruction decoder and machine cycle encoding unit. So that is in the center of the architecture. The next is timing and control that is seen at the bottom of the screen on the left hand side and the interrupt control and serial communication module they are on the top of the screen. So these are all the various components of the architecture of 8085. Let us talk about them in detail one by one. Today we intend to talk about the register set and the bus interface unit. The register set of 8085 consists of various general purpose registers namely B, C, D, E, H, L. These are general purpose registers. All of them are 8 bits in width. On the top you find an accumulator register or popularly called as A register which is also 8 bit. It has got some special status. Then we have the flag register, the stack pointer and the program counter. Let us talk about them in detail one by one. First we talk about the accumulator. The accumulator register is an 8 bit register which holds one of the operands of all arithmetic and logic operation. This means that any arithmetic and logic operation the 8085 carries out one of the operand is held inside the accumulator register and after the arithmetic logic operation is completed the result is also placed inside the accumulator register. So it has a special status and that is why it is called the accumulator. Next we have a group of registers the B, C, D, E and H, L. These are the general purpose registers. They are also sometimes called as scratch pad RAMs where you store temporary data. So you make some temporary calculations and store data over there. So they are the scratch pad RAM of the 8085. These registers can also be used as extended register pairs. That means if somewhere we need to have a 16 bit number, then we can store it in the register pair BC or in DE or in HL as required. So it is an extended pair. The extended pair BC is called B. The extended pair DE is called D and the extended pair HL is called H. So these forms the 16 bit extended pairs. They are also sometimes used to hold the address of the memory location. They act as a memory pointer. The next is the stack pointer which is a 16 bit register. A special purpose register to maintain the system stack. 16 bit memory address pointer points to the top of the stack. Whenever a stack related instruction is executed, the stack pointer updates itself automatically with all the stack operations. Then we have the program counter. This is also a special purpose register which maintains track of the program execution. It is a 16 bit register which points to the next instruction to be executed. After every instruction PC is incremented automatically. Then we have the flag register. It is a 8 bit register holding 5 important status flags of 8085. Each flag bit indicates some condition that arise from arithmetic logic operations. Flag register is not directly accessible to the user. Let us talk about the bus interface unit. The 8085 has got a 16 bit address bus. With this 16 bit address you can address up to 64 kilobyte of memory space. The 8085 has a 8-bit data bus 
on which data is transmitted or received from the peripheral devices. The 8-bit data bus is multiplexed with the lower 8 bits of the address bus, meaning that at certain times the bus pins will act as a address and in the other times it will act as a data. Whenever the 8085 addresses the memory or the IO space, it will first of all place the address on the address bus. It will issue an ALE signal which is called the address latch enable which is used to latch this address in an external 8-bit latch and as soon as this is done the address bus is become free and therefore it can be used for data bus operations. Thank you very much for viewing this tutorial.